How's it going, Optic Nation? Diesel here, along with Gundown, who, uh, if you have not watched a competitive video on the competitive channel, you're slacking. Gundown, why don't you say hi to everybody? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, cool to be putting more videos up on Nation, so uh, I want to thank Hex and everyone for letting us put it up there. Yeah, without a doubt. Like I said, uh, that first video you guys put up on the competitive channel, people were uh, people went ape shit about it. Even Hex was telling me this video is insane. So. Yeah, it was all right. I mean, <laughs> I guess uh, for people that aren't familiar with the competitive arena, it's well, it's, it's different from the competitive. Places. Not not so much where people aren't used to them. It's just people knowing it is competitive and see right. you dominate and just run around pretty much recklessly and just doing work. People liked it. Yeah. That's cool, yeah. Because most competitive videos, I know you've had to have watched them, they're kind of more slow paced than anything. And uh, so it was a nice change of pace for everybody to watch, and people were excited about it, so. It's good, and this is, uh, this is your team ladder, ML well, MLG team ladder number two. And uh, this is against Envious, which I'm sure everybody knows who Envious is. And uh, you guys. Took them out three one. Yep, they uh they got to host the first two maps and they uh they beat us I believe on high rise CTF. We uh tied the first time we had to replay and they beat us by a flag. And then we uh took S and D, um, scrapped our demolition and then terminal CTF. Nice. I was definitely uh, I was surprised. Well, not surprised that you beat them, just at how I guess you could say. Bad. I would have expected it to go maybe seven maps. And yeah, it, I don't uh, know. I hadn't played them really um, very much at all in Modern Warfare 2. And we hadn't been playing with Nameless um, for, I don't know, a couple days, maybe a week. So we weren't really going and expecting to do this well, especially without it practicing at all. Yeah, that was another thing because, uh, well, I don't know how many people actually know what's going on with this whole competitive and who you are exactly. Uh, for those who don't know, you all are all familiar with me, Eaton, Nerve, and Gundizi. And Gundizi left, he had to go to school, and Nerve and I just decided to put competitive on the back burner, so we sent Eaton out on his merry way, and he found you guys. And I, pers before he brought you up, you guys, I've never really heard of you guys. I'm not saying you're not known or good or anything, it's just you... I've never personally heard of you. I, I know a lot of people out there, so I'm, I was glad when he picked you guys up, and you guys obviously don't have the egos that follow most competitive players that are good. And uh, Yeah, I well, no one really knows who we are, so... Yeah, well... I don't think I'm personally or anything. But. I think, well, after after taking out a team with MBS, they uh, people are definitely going to have to give you a little, little bit of credit where credit's due. Yeah, just to uh, clear things up, um, this is... Uh, playoff match. It's winter bracket round one, um, and this isn't my gameplay. Actually, it's Nameless's, but uh, his is a little bit more exciting than mine because I was playing objective and I, I got taken out quite a few times. But yeah, either way, fair enough. And uh, Nameless was also like he was running with you guys, like you said, and he hasn't been playing with you for a long time because he decided to leave. And uh, Shame on you, Nameless, you dumb bitch. <laughs> you silly babe. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I want to know what was really going through his mind after you guys went in against the team like MBS and what his mindset was going in, like, oh, you know, this is going to be over pretty quick. We're going to lose or whatnot. And then to watch you guys come out and pretty much dominate like you did. I wonder what his mindset was afterwards. If he was like, shit, I made a mistake or... What? I don't know, man. <laughs> we got a, another playoff match tonight that we uh, versus Vex, and they won MLG one. So it's gonna be I mean, that goes good for us. I mean, that we could end up, you know, being in finals pretty easily. Yeah, we definitely. That went off. Yeah. So have you guys found a a new fourth? Uh, um, besides we us, were, or you? What's going we were on scrimming with uh with a couple guys, and we plan on scrimming with a few more, but um. We had one that we thought might work out, but it ended up not, so we're still looking. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll figure it out. Yeah, absolutely. I think after your your performance, I think you'll be getting a couple more looks from a lot more players that might have overlooked you previous to this whole run you guys are making right now. So, 
might work out for you also. So it's round one, pretty low scoring so far, but still tons of action. Yeah, terminal is definitely uh, it's a one-sided map. Um, this is the better spawn, the one that we just spawned at, and we were able to get a flag on the bad side. So we were we were just thinking, you know, all we had to do is just get kills right now, and if we happen to get four dead or three dead, then then we'll make our pushes and go for more. But I mean, if you if you have a lead and you're on the better side for slaying, I mean, that's all you got to do. Yeah, I know Terminal with uh, the old competitive team. Uh, this was not a, a fun map for me to play because I play defense and our offense really wasn't the strongest on this map. So it was always hectic for me looking all over the place. So like you said, it is very one-sided. So if you don't know what you're doing, it's it gets pretty bad pretty quick. Yeah, it's actually, uh, even though it's one-sided, I mean, if you... If you lose control of this tree area where he's at, we call it pine. That's uh, real easy for the other team to get us in the spawn trap and relay a couple of flags. So, Nameless yeah. is definitely doing a good job of holding it's it down. Definitely the chokehold point because then, I mean, if they get a move up to that and they get the that hallway, it's a, just a spawn trap from hell because you're gonna always spawn in dreams and it's bad news and team gets you into that especially a team who knows and that's it's pretty much from my previous points playing against envious they're uh, not so much you know run around if they get a setup on you though they're very hard to beat uh, I mean yeah they definitely seem like a setup team like yeah. they don't Hester didn't pull too many flags um, other than when we had two or three dead on our team so yeah that's that's what we noticed uh, we lost to them I we lost, uh, I think it was 2-1 or something like that. We played him in GB a little while back. But, yeah, once they get a setup going and Stanville went ape shit on a map and <laughs> that was it. So, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited for you guys' match tonight. It's going to be another, it's going to be a tough match. You guys definitely aren't taking the easy road to the finals by any means. No, there's only, uh, I think, 13 teams or something like that that... Um, we're able to qualify for playoffs, so the bracket, I mean, even though it's small, it's pretty stacked with top teams, so, I mean, either side is really, uh, it's tough to get to the finals. Yeah. That was just getting sent to the loser's bracket, so. Well, I think if you guys can knock off Vex, I think you're going to have a good shot of making it all the way to the finals. It looks like it would either be either the other Optic team, which is Nate Shot's team, who's on the bottom side of this bracket or I would have to say probably extravagant. Yeah, they're really, I was watching them on a little bit of PS3, Foy's live stream, the um, PS3 PCL playoffs last night and they were looking real good on that. Yeah. I, don't, I think it's the same roster for both systems but they look like a solid team. Yeah, they're coming back. For a while there they broke up like 10 times and after yeah, they won Nationals, which that. was, I mean you win Nationals, you would think it'd be a little... A little easier to stick it together as a team, but what competitive is, unfortunately, people just, I don't know, swap out players like fucking hooker swap out condoms. It's ridiculous. Exactly like that, yeah. I mean, I don't know. There's really no, there's no loyalty to an extent, which you guys, well, you and Sketchdown are actually brothers, so that, I mean, if one of you decides to leave on the other one, obviously it's going to be a fight. Has that ever happened or anything, or... Um, not like, no one's got hurt, like, we've been mad at each other, <laughs> but it, uh, it doesn't, it's never like a to the death cage match, but. I hear you. I wasn't sure if, like, if somebody was, uh, if one of you were to sketch on the other one, what would happen? I don't know, we've been playing together for a long time, yeah. and sometimes we'll try to go on different teams, but we end up just playing together because it's easier, like, all, both getting on at the same time and stuff. Yeah. And then Eaton's a super loyal player, so it's good that yeah. you got three solid. And then once you find this fourth, you guys should uh, should be good to go with having a solid four for a pretty good good amount of time until you guys decide to part ways. Absolutely. It's, it's one thing that I don't know. I always like playing with Nerve and Eaton and everybody because we didn't have to have that feeling of hey if we lose a match is this person going to get so fucking pissed off they're just going to leave and uh, with that it seems you guys are getting to the point where you're not going to have to have that worry either
which is yeah. Sad. I'm not worried about it really at all, especially with frying and eating. But um, it's just about finding the fourth that fits all three of us. So yeah, there you go, two zero. Took out Envious. So uh, go check out their other competitive video. This has been Diesel and Gundown. Adios.